Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to auto arm tracks in Reaper. Now, the idea of auto arming tracks is really about saving time. It doesn't really change their function, but as you'll see, it's a great time saver. I have a project set up. We're about to record some MIDI instruments, starting with some drums, a drum machine, a bass synth, a piano, pad, and some strings. Let's hear them by going into record on each of them and playing my MIDI keyboard. Let's check out the plugin, which is Easy Drummer, and it sounds like this. Pretty simple. But when I'm done with this part, I'm going to want to switch to a drum machine. So I have to go out of record of this track and go into record on this track and play the drum machine like this. And we'll do the same for each track. My bass synth. My piano. My pad. And finally, my strings. But we could do this a lot quicker if we auto arm our tracks. So let's go to the first track, the drum track, and right click the record button. And right down over here in this menu, we can auto record arm this track when it's selected. So if we choose it, the record button changes to an A, letting us know we're in auto arm mode. And if I select this track, it goes into record input. We don't have to hit the record button. So I can then hear my drums. So I can quickly just record them. And we can do the same thing for the drum machine. Right click it, auto record arm the track. So if this track is selected, we'll hear the drum machine. And I can go back to the drums and it switches automatically. The drum machine is no longer an input because it's no longer selected and it switches back to the easy drummer drums. And back again to the drum machine. Now, if you want to change the mode all at once, just select all the tracks, right click it, and choose it right here. Now all the tracks are in that mode. So again, here's our drums, our drum machine, our bass, our piano, our pad, and finally, the strings. But it's a great time saver to just click them to hear and record that part. And we can select more than one at a time. So I can select my piano and my pad and hear them both at the same time. So I can create a piano pad or some piano strings. All just by selecting those tracks. So I can go one by one through each part recording it with just one click. And we're done, and we don't want this behavior, just select them all again, right click, and turn this option off. Now they go back to their previous behavior, where we have to put each track into record in order to hear them or record them. Just selecting it doesn't do it. And this is also very helpful when recording vocals. I have a track right here with some lead vocals, now I want to record some background vocals, but we're going to record many of them one after another. So I don't want to, have to go in and put the track in record, then add a record, put the next track in record, in between each pass. So again, we could select them all, right click it, and switch it to automatic record arm when track selected. And now I can select this track and it's in record. We can record that vocal 
and we're done, just select the next one. We'll go back to this one, jump to this one, and so on. It's a great time saver. And we're done, just select them all, right click, and turn this option off. Now they behave normally again. We're selecting them, doesn't put them in record. Now we could also do this for new tracks. I have a new project right here. Let's go to our preferences. And if we go down here to track send defaults, in this section over here, under record configuration, we can decide what happens with new tracks. Right over here, we can select the monitoring mode, the recording mode, the recording inputs, and then right down here, automatic record arm for the newly created tracks. So if we select this, every time we create a new track, it's automatically armed when it's selected. Deselect it, it's not armed, select it again, and it is. So every time we create another one, it's automatically armed by default as soon as we select it. Select this one, this one, and this one. And it comes out of record when it's not selected. To me, that's quite a handy feature and quite a time saver. So that's pretty much it. That's auto arming tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.